Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my right vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hi, you guys. Hope you're doing good. Blind item is starting to look really artificial and fake, and it's looking like it's really lacking um, uh, any authenticity here. Uh, lately, or just recently, it dropped that Meghan and Harry actually bought a place in Portugal. They can't afford that right now. Everything is rental according to me and a lot of other people uh you know yeah so what now they have portugal they were supposed to buy a new york apartment a malibu home a uh, mana shit show uh, a lot of people like to call it mudside manor as a rental too uh i think that it could have been it, it, at best at very best it would be a land contract and that's where you have to play the pay the balloon payment if you don't pay the balloon payment all the money of the down payment reverts back to the owner. Uh, that's what happens in California. It's not that uncommon for really high priced um, houses, ones that have been sitting for a long time. And I know that one's been sitting a long time. And if they can't get that, then it goes to the rental market and they usually succeed at turning it into a rental. A lot of people believe, and I believe a lot of it is just rental, rental. It's why they haven't done anything with it. It's why the furniture uh, has been said in the past to look kind of weathered and there were images that it just didn't look like they did much to it but maybe one room uh that one with the table with the fireplace behind her with the stacked up books and all that that's like probably the favorite room to film in and that's why we always saw the same old same old and then it's also rumored that they've used it as a rental property where people go in, they clean it up. It's been said that a lot of people have spoke, people have spoken on that in the, in the last uh, many years here, that uh, it's not what it seems, obviously. So I'm really not believing these blind eyes, especially this last one about her possibly wanting to uh, have her Portuguese home. I'm sure she'd like to have a Portuguese home uh, because then she can have her escapism. And um, anyways, people know that Harry is, quote unquote, by another person here on, on a social media, that he is notoriously tight with his money. He was known when he was dating Chelsea to force her to pay for her own flights. He wouldn't pay for her flights. He is notoriously cheap. Uh, all rentals. There's no way he's going to have her have everything in her name. And that's what the blind item is saying. It's that everything is in her name. It's re really losing credibility here. Uh, so yeah, people are joking saying now that it's going to be the Portuguese Riviera Orchard or the Portuguese Investment Group, which is short for pig. <laughs> that, that was funny. Yeah, that wasn't my mind. That is what the public is saying. So, yeah, blind item. Uh, I would say Megan's the one putting it in that she's the one who's benefiting from this because it's saying that everything's in her name and Harry looks like a complete, utter moron idiot. I don't think they own anything. They have been spending on PR, public relations, attention is attention is attention. They couldn't pay Sunshine Sachs. To the point where after they got their payment, they cut her free. They can't afford anything. Their lifestyle, their traveling, their expectation. They don't have that level of money. They're not, they don't have it coming in. They got to steal, hoard. And even then their taxes are due. They're in, they're in trouble with Uncle Sam. Where are they getting it from? You know? <laughs> so let's get to the blind item. Megan contributing to blind item. Yeah, no one's going to believe it, Megan. Sorry. Nice try. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe it for a minute. Do you actually own a Portuguese home and your little spins, your little blind item spins of Megan? Yeah, she's putting in false leaks, false little spins. That totally would be up her alley to control the narrative in a very passive-aggressive lying way, the Seven of Swords, and then getting busted with it being in reverse. <laughs> She likes to do that. She is a sneaky little fox that we keep busting. How sad for her to keep getting busted and being called out. That's why she's the most bullied woman. She doesn't like being called out for her lies. So Megan, 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 Megan. Let's get this, make it easy today. Here we go. Yep, she wants, she has to set herself free. She wants to look like she's a free person, that she's really not caught up in anything, that she's got her freedom, that she's for, you know, she's looking towards her freedom. 
that she's not abused. She doesn't have to escape anywhere. She's got all her escapism. She's got her places to go. She's not trapped, but she can manipulate the situation since it's an eight in reverse. She can completely manipulate it. Uh, she can't manifest truly what she wants, so she's got to fake it. Now, I'm not a prisoner in my mind. I'm not immobilized in this house. You know, I didn't hurt myself and do this to myself. I am not abused. I am free as a bird. I am free, free, free. And I did it myself. That's what she likes people to think, that she is free. That she has that sense of freedom. It's like uh, finding freedom. <laughs> by pretending that she has all these homes and that she can move around. She's not stuck anywhere. If she wants out, she's got the freedom that when we're not getting along, I'm just going to this house over here. I'm going to my New York home. I'm going to the Malibu home. I'm going to stay at the mudslide home. Harry, go over to the rental property in West Hollywood where all the gays are at because I know you're fluid. Just go stay there because that's really what you want. Anyways, you go do you. I do me. We both are free from each other so that's kind of how i feel he likes west hollywood and the sense of freedom makes her feel like she's balanced uh that oh it's divine intervention i i deserve it god wanted me to have this i sparked it i created this stability yes i have it i have control over all endeavors i negotiated these properties i'm very patient i took the middle ground and i got it i was able to use my diplomatic my diplomatic wording and my diplomatic mind and get what I want. And it's just so positive overall. And I have such harmony. I am so blessed. I'm such divine intervention to have such freedom to move about and do what I want. And every universe tells me yes. God tells me yes. I have the God complex of building what I want, spark what I want, but I'm really actually probably faking it here because it's manipulation with that aid in reverse. And I'm lying to you. I'm actually lying to you about my fears. I'm really lying to you about my freedom. I'm actually am immobilized here. And so, but it makes me feel calm, cool, and collected that I've got it all that, uh, you know, I, I had this high level of success and negotiating and I know how to negotiate. She wants to look like she's a business person with this energy is how I feel challenging situation here is, yeah, she wants to flee. She wants to go. Yeah, she wants to go, but she can't. She can't. She wants her atonement. So she acts like if she can, it's like, oh God, this is reminding of all the celebrities saying, if I can't, if so-and-so wins the election, I'm leaving. Well, I'm leaving. She might be leaving for other reasons. She doesn't want to get busted in all her lives. She wants her atonement. She thinks she can escape and everything will be balanced and I can get my atonement by leaving. Uh, I, you know, it was a shallow adventure. She screwed up, but I can leave at any point in time. I can avoid people. I can leave attachments. I can feel empowered by walking away. If I'm dissatisfied by all my obstacles, well, guess what? I'm walking. I'm out. But she knows she can't. She's actually kind of stuck. She actually screwed up. She knows she screwed up. She knows that if she leaves, it's a shallow adventure. She would come right back because the passion would be back to actually free herself again. Oh, I'm so caged in. I cannot live with this. Oh, I got to free myself. Yes, I walked away. She has an obsession and an addiction to pretending to be trapped and freeing herself and being and being a survivor and being such an innocent person with my angel wings and i'm so innocent and god just keeps blessing me so she wants to appear as though she's a blessed individual i got that okay <laughs> and that she is being atoned by god Oh, God here is what God is blessing her with her with her eight of cups in reverse. She got her atonement because God's blessing her. Yeah, okay. And then she knows that she's hate bombed everywhere she goes. There's so much negative PR. That's when she wants. I think this is really a fantasy mindset here. It's totally 100%. Because there's such negative spins and such negative PR and she's getting no rapid growth or expansion whatsoever. It's just negative, negative, negative. This is a form of escapism for her mind only. It's not literal. It's mentally. This is totally a mental head game on herself. She's actually lying to herself and, and convincing herself that God's going to bless her at any point in time. So this is like fantasy here that she, she feeds to a uh, blind item. So it's Megan's fantasies. I can go at any point in time, people. Yep, and you're going to miss me because you didn't help me grow and expand. Well, I'm, I'm feeling punished. God's going to bless me anyways. It will give me my atonement. 
Sure, Megan. So she wants that positive spin, but all she gets is negative. She cannot have her overnight success that she wants. Everything's stalled. There's nothing happening. She's bored. She'd like to travel. She'd like to travel, but she can't. She's stuck. She wants to travel. She can't because she doesn't have the money. She doesn't have the success to even do it. She doesn't have the positive messages. It's all negative. Sorry, you can't go. There's no money here. Uh, your tightwad husband's not giving it to you. You cannot travel. You cannot go to events. She's not even going to be invited. Invited. The opportunities are not coming in. Uh, she cannot overcome the obstacle. So she feels like she's a mental, in a mental cage, a mental prison. So she likes to release herself by manipulating her own brain into thinking that she can free herself at any point in time and leave. Yeah, that's a nice mindset. So it's all fantasy. It's all fantasy here in future faking herself. It's poor judgment. She doesn't like people calling her out for poor judgment. And now she needs to confront it. She wants to avoid responsibilities. She's hesitating on all her consequences. She's got a lot of self-doubt. It's all more negative, negative, more negative announcements. With all the negative announcements about her, she really has the need to flee. And hoping the, the universe will bless her. She's a sick person to avoid. There is no peace. She's, she needs to force and manipulate the situation. So it's just manipulation here. She's, she's not at peace at all with that lamb in reverse. Uh, there is no strength in her. She's a weak individual. She doesn't have the patience. She's impatient. She's loud. She's abrasive. She's just using, she's calling and putting out the spin on herself because she's not growing. Well, I can leave. I've got Portugal people. You're going to miss out on me because I can be blessed somewhere else because I'm not at peace. I'm a sick person to avoid. I'm a manipulator. I'm going to force it. And I'm a low vibe control freak. Watch me control it. So she's, she does it out of control. She's not traveling. Another not traveling card is the page of wands in reverse because page of wands upright is traveling. She's not going anywhere. There's nowhere fun for her to go. She's not a fun, dynamic, say it like it is, honest individual. In fact, she's getting more messages delivered that are negative. So she's got negative message, negative message, feeling like a prisoner. People hate her, don't like her, not at peace. More negativity, more negative message. A lot of negative messaging, and she has the need to flee. Can't travel. Her plans are full stop. She's lying. This is complete lying, deceit. She's not accelerating in life. So what does she want to do? The coward wants to run. The coward's got to run because she's got dark ego issues. She's emotionally immature. She has a flat personality. She's not, she's not charismatic. She's not balanced and, and pleasant and nice to deal with and peaceful energy where she doesn't have to force her way into growth. She has to force everything. Everything's through sheer force of just words but no action is what this is because there's no action it's just words with nothing it's just empty words it's smoke and mirrors typical classic megan markle here we go feelings in the situation yeah the world owes me world in reverse she's not traveling anywhere she doesn't have homes homes everywhere in new york she wants to appear as though she's a successful billionaire and she's got homes scattered all over the continent okay she doesn't she would have to steal it and do criminal behavior in order to get it to happen. She would have, she's playing victim. Uh, I got the criminal mind. How can I get it? I like to get it. The world deserves, I deserve it. The world really is against me. Since she feels that she doesn't fit in and the world's against her and California is against her, UK is against her, Canada is against her, Australia is against her, uh, Nigeria now doesn't like her. Uh, all these places don't like her. A lot of Commonwealth don't like her. Canada doesn't like her. I need to escape because nobody likes me. Everyone's against me. I'm not going to take accountability. No way will I take accountability. I am, I will never take accountability. I will force my way into whatever I want. I'll get my atonement by leaving. Yeah, she can't take accountability. Next position. Why? Because she just got busted. Just what I'm saying. She got busted. The snake got busted. All her truths coming out. 
She can't handle it. More negative, more negative announcements. She's got to get the hell out of here. I got to get out of here. This poor judgment of the past. I don't want it coming back and bite me that I was so dishonest. And then I'm a weak individual that uses sheer force of positive PR that none of it's true. Absolutely none of it's true. But it gives me a sense of peace and, 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 and balanced energy, even though I know there's absolutely no truth or honesty to it. The world does owe me. That's what I said on HG Tutor. Buy her gravestone. Her life's such a mess, she will always lie and say the world owes her. You know, doesn't anyone ask how I'm doing? No, we don't care how you're doing. It's back to that interview. And then she wants to glow up. She thinks if she can escape, she can glow on. It's just getting attention is attention is attention. It can make people go, oh, wow, how many homes do you own? What, you've got an apartment in New York? You've got, you've got the mudslide home. You've got all these homes. Wow, you are a celebrity. She's a lying celebrity. She lies about being a celebrity. She lies about glowing up. She lies, she lies that she's got this bird's eye view that she can negotiate business and that she can have fast speed momentum and grow in business and grow in glowing up and grow in any kind of communication. People shut down communication from her. They stop talking to her. So now she's got to glow herself up through lies, deception, and all the lies are coming out. She made, she did a lot of lies to glow herself up. As we know, that was just the only thing that makes her feel healed is glowing up. Uh, with that star card, she's thinking she can get her renewal. Okay, if I flee, if I can fantasize about it, she's still fantasizing about being a star and lying about being a major star, lying that she was, it was her show, the suits, right? She, it was her show. Uh, she, it wasn't her show. She had the least lines, the le least amount of time. She lied about being uh, an A-lister. She's not an A-lister, but the world owed her at being an A-lister. And she's going to keep lying and saying that she's this working actress that just gave up Hollywood and she had no choice. She had to give it up for Harry. That's a lie. But it made her feel grounded and balanced. And, and she acted like, oh, well, it's negotiating that I can always go back at any point in time. They always want me. No, they don't. You're lying. And now the truth came out. Who, Megan, who? We didn't have her phone number. We didn't call her. So all the truths come out and she's got absolutely no support, no friends, no social life with the three of cups in reverse. All she's stuck with is addiction. This is an addict having a fantasy and calling a blind item, spilling, neg spilling falsehoods and lies and they're getting busted. She doesn't have any friends. She has nowhere to go. She's got no safety net, but that's why she wants to escape. So with that three of cups in reverse, uh, third party interruption. Uh, so she likes any third party triangulation, emotional triangulation to try and fill her cups when she's feeling very empty and unfulfilled. She's got addiction issues, excessive eating and drinking. Well, for her, probably not so much the eating, but excessive drugs, excessive drinking. She likes the gossip. She wants people to talk about her. It's not true. It's no, it's not happening. She doesn't have that new safety net of a place in Portugal. It is, she wants to end her difficulties and celebrate, but it's not coming. So she just uses substance. Uh, she has had a bunch of fallouts. Uh, she, you know, there's too many obstacles to overcome and she's miserable. She cannot create growth expansion in herself because it's a three in reverse with that three in reverse. She's making all the wrong moves when she's over drinking, over consuming. She is an over excess of addiction issues. And when she does it, she always makes the wrong moves with friends and even safety net. She makes the wrong moves. She becomes a control freak because she's so unfulfilled. She crashes down friends. She crashes weddings. She crashes places because she has no place to really go. She really wants to end it, but she can't. She has absolutely no safety net. She's lost all her safety nets. She has nobody. She doesn't have a women's circle of gathering of friends, work affiliations. They all walk away. Her career advancement has tanked. So no, it will not be a Portuguese Riviera Orchard or a Portuguese investment group, also known as PIG, uh, as a business. It's not going to happen. Nobody will support her. No one's reaching out because three of cups upright. When you have friends, there's bonding after the two of cups. Then they're there to support you and rally around you and engage with you and celebrate with you. The community vibe is not there for her. She's not connected to any community vibe. There's absolutely no celebration of Megan. Megan wants to go where she's celebrated. So she feels like she's trapped and she's got to free herself. But really, 
this Eight of Swords is a prisoner of your own mind. So she is a prisoner of her own mind. And this is a feeling of escapism, but it's all built on fantasy and addiction. It's an addicted person who's making that call to blind items. So the addict is calling, is what it is. And she does it when she's under high substance abuse. And then we have here the Queen of Wands in reverse. She's not glowing up. She's mad, erratic, dramatic, angry, triggered, affected, abandonment. Nobody likes me. I'm not glowing up. I'm not popular. I'm not assertive. Nobody likes me. I'm super unpopular. No friends want to be around me. Nobody likes me. I'm so unpopular, but I'm going to make myself look like I'm a celebrity with all these homes. But it's all a lie because the world owes me. The world owes me to make me a star and help me glow up. And that hasn't happened. So I'm mad. I'm mad. So I've got to find a way to start myself because nobody likes me. I'm going to put my mask on. It's not my true self. I'm really a dull, boring wallflower person, but watch me get angry. And I have no creativity. I've got to steal from other people. My ego's bruised and I'm an absolute coward. So since I'm a coward, I'm going to leave. You don't want me? Fine. I'm going to leave because nobody's my friend. Nobody, everybody lies to me and she's going to play victim. And, and they just don't, they can't handle my truths. Well, really, it's all built on lies. So she's an angry, erratic, erratic dramatic, flat effect bitch of the, of the Queen of Wands. And she's going to calculate and she's going to plan and strategize her with the King of Swords. She's going to strategize and that will become her truth. That will become with logic. When she's angry, she's going to then, that cools her down. Okay, I got nobody. I'm angry. Now I'm going to turn to my logic here and I'm going to act like I can get what I want. I'm going to make some big decisions here and I'm going to really analyze lawyer up, lawyer up. That's what's truth, what's fair. And I have high standards. I have high standards when I'm mad. My standards go way up and I need to get what I want. I will lawyer up here. So she really has that angry, pissed off, calling someone who can actually put her in the look of a professional leadership uh, image. Uh, and, and she basically calls him when she's in a drunken, drunken, angry state of mind. She makes a phone call. And then she acts like it's true. Like, hey, I got high standards. I've got houses everywhere. It's very intentional with her actions. And so then she gets him to do it. She gets some guy to do it. Okay, is that the truth? Okay, I'll take your word for it. That's the truth. All right, you got high standards. You know, you got some very intentional actions here that, uh, you know, you, you're a leader here and you've got all these homes all around the world. You got all these homes all the way around the world. Wow, you do all that traveling? You do all that traveling? Wow, so lucky. So lucky. You get whatever you want in life. Take whatever you want. Oh, you're such a star, Megan. Wow, you got support everywhere you go. Oh, my gosh. You get to flee when you feel the need. Oh, you're so free. You make such good judgments. Oh, you're such good judgment. Wow, the, the God, God is blessing you here. You're so blessed. And wow, such positivity. We'll put that positivity out there because you're feeling kind of weak. And now that makes you feel strong. And then maybe people will like you because they see you glowing up and being successful. She wants people to think she's succeeding because she's not. So this is a hell-bent energy. They must think that I'm succeeding because all of them are my enemies out there. So I'm going to lie about my success because I can't handle the failure, the look of failure. It makes me look bad. I need to look successful. So that's a way for her to calculate looking successful and getting what she wants. And then people can think that she's happy, that she's got her wishes fulfilled, that she got everything. But really, it's just in her mind, making a phone call, false spins, lies, deception. I got to look successful and happy and I won and I got all my wishes come true. This is her wishes come true is to be liked, adored, business leader, get her RO, everybody looking up to her, being very popular, that lioness boss of self-development, using her sexual energy if she wants to. She can get what she wants with her sexual energy, and I can calculate and plan and lawyer up, and I can get whatever I want. This is her fantasy life right here. So it's just built on, uh, on her substance. It's just fantasy. It's fantasy mind aiming for this, for the outcome of her public perception. Hope you enjoyed this. Till next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.